Um, so screenwriter Aileen Brush McKenna says the film was inspired by a friend who was a perpetual bridesmaid. Yes. So do you have friends or relatives who are always a bridesmaid and never a bride? I really don't. I didn't relate to this on that level because I've only been a bridesmaid myself at the time and did the movie only once, like eight years ago. Um, and I've only been to a handful of weddings. Not even. I've only been to like two, two or three weddings. So I didn't have like this sort of, you know, experience or understanding of Jane and what she's going through. And then in October, I was my sister's maid of honor and suddenly I got it. I got it. I totally got it. Like, okay, this is why Jane is so high strung. Like, it's really a lot of pressure to make sure that this person you really care about has an amazing day and that none of the stress falls on their shoulders. And that's almost impossible, but I did it. I, was, I managed to do it. <laughs> just clicked. Just clicked. Um, and so then, what's the most memorable wedding you've ever attended? Well, hers, for sure. And what was so great about it, because everybody always tells you, you know, something is bound to go wrong. It's not going to go just swimmingly, you know. It's not going to be exactly what you imagined. But I really felt, and I hope she feels this way too, but I really felt like her wedding was perfect. Everything about it was exactly the way it should have been. And how much fun that she and her husband had at it was exactly what you wanted for them. And everything was beautiful and no slip-ups. The groom, the, the man of honor, uh, the best man speech was perfect and awesome. The music was perfect. We even had our great little like moment at the end of the wedding when most people had left, where we got to sing Journey together. Like it was perfect. And so uh, for me, that's certainly the most memorable. Perfect. And, and director Ann Fletcher is a renowned choreographer. So yes. Did you guys have any backstage dancing? She on danced set? every day at least once or twice a day, and I would often request for her to do um, Jennifer Beals and flash dance. Oh, that made me so happy. I miss it. Did she comply? <laughs> Did she comply? Yes. Every time I asked, she would do it. I kind of abused it a little bit. Did she do a few moves at all? She tried. She makes everything look effortless and easy, and so I would try to mimic, and I would look like an idiot, so I stopped trying. <laughs> So it's been a big year for you. The Emmys for Grays, huge success of Knocked Up, and now 27 Dresses. Do you ever ask yourself, okay, how do I top this? Yes, all the time. Um, I think I've given up the idea that I ever will. I think, um, I hope that next year is as wonderful and amazing as this year, but um, you can only hope for so much. You know, this, this, I don't think anything could ever top this year. And I think uh, what I have to look forward to next year is just hopefully more work and more opportunities, but also being able to settle into a place where it's not all so new and such a whirlwind and I can actually really embrace it and appreciate it. And have you, well, you just said you've been a bridesmaid. So yes. so what was the best part of being one for your sister? And, and also, what's the worst? Well, I think it's a real honor to be asked because I think, um, and it is a really important role and, and the person you ask to do that for you, you have to have a lot of faith in to handle it. Um, and I think, uh, you know, for me, it was just an honor to stand by her side and be there for such an important day and, you know, get to tell her how much I love her and show her how much I love her. And then the worst part of it is is the stress that something might go wrong and you wouldn't be able to handle it or, you know, that it would affect her day somehow. But we, we got through everything just beautifully, so I wouldn't want to do it a, a, every other weekend. I certainly wouldn't do it twice in one day. Like Jane, she's out of control. <laughs> Go get her, though. Yeah. And, um, and what was your favorite of the 27 dresses in the movie? Do you have a favorite and a least favorite? I think my favorite favorite... Well, I did really love the blue lacy one because it felt very, like, old school 50s to me. In fact, I just saw... <laughs> my mother's going to kill me. She just... Her cousin emailed her a picture of her at, like, probably 14 or 15 going to some dance with some guy, and she's wearing a dress a lot like that, and it's just, like... It's hideous, hideously awesome, you know, like perfect. But that dress kind of reminds me of that, which I kind of love about it. What about least favorite? Least favorite was the L.A. dress. I hated the L.A. dress. It was so uncomfortable. <laughs> no one needs to wear anything that tight ever. Or short. <laughs> or short. <laughs> so you weren't having to pretend mm, in that scene. No. And, and There's no spanks that are going to go under that dress. <laughs> Nothing short enough for that. And what, uh, what qualities about Jane did draw you to the character? I think I really loved, um, I loved how flawed she was and the sort of the progression she made and where she came to at the end of the film. I thought it was kind of a hopeful story on a lot of levels, but, you know, she comes off like a victim, but the reality is she's made her choices and she's teaching the people around her how to treat her and what they can expect from her. And, you know, she has to and does find a way to sort of draw lines and, and make boundaries, but still be the gracious girl that she is. Um, 
and I loved her relationship with, with Tess. I thought that the sister dynamic was really interesting because they loved each other so much. They were really close, but they had a sort of dysfunctional relationship, which is so, you know, um, easy to relate to. I think everybody has that in their family on some level or another where, you know, somebody's the caretaker, somebody's the one being cared for, you know, on different levels. And so I really loved how their relationship evolves by the end of the movie, too. I thought it was a really hopeful story. And how is your relationship with your sister since you had that to kind of go yeah, off of? It's somewhere? really good. It's a very different relationship because um, we were four years apart. So when we were growing up, my sister was like locking me out of her bedroom and would never play Barbies with me, that kind of thing. And we're super different. She's very, she was very tomboyish and I was very like little princessy. Uh, and so she was like irritated by me. But as we've gotten older, it's just interesting because the age gap really closes up and you become, you know, this is somebody uh, whose loyalty and friendship is unparalleled. Like I don't, your sister is your go-to person throughout life, um, and it's just such a blessing to have that. I can't imagine being an only child. Like, I'm very grateful to have my siblings.